Hey, so came out to Arizona for my spring break and uh, just landed earlier today. Landed in Tucson actually and uh, staying with a friend so ended up coming to Phoenix. So right now just hiking out in Phoenix, enjoying the views. wanted to show off this huge cactus check that out first saguaro that I've seen actually this is pretty solid So just finishing up a hike here uh, outside of Phoenix. Uh, weather's still pretty nice actually, sun's starting to go down. Um, and I uh, figured I'd take advantage of the view, try and see about maybe throwing some flips. Um, and I'll try to keep vlogging and see what I'm up to rest of my spring break. Hey, so day three, I'm actually in Tucson now because uh, we were in Phoenix at the beginning. So decided to come do this little hike called the Seven Falls hike. So that's what we're working on right now. And uh, gonna see what it looks like. Hopefully still get enough water this time of year. You can see it's kind of overcast, which helps. Um, so I guess we'll see, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to see if I can do any more types of, of movement aside from walking. Um, but there seems to be a lot more cactus happening on this uh, this hike. So it might be limiting me. We'll see what happens.
you to the base of the waterfalls. I'm gonna keep hiking up and uh, catch the rest of them. I totally forgot to bring water, which was not a smart move, but luckily the temperature is not bad. We got a nice breeze and uh, it's kind of cloudy today. So been handling okay so far. Um, saw some spots where I could maybe do some movement on the way back. So I'm gonna try to save my energy for that. Um, and some of the videos that I took earlier actually were off trail. I somehow got lost and started just walking up the river instead of on the trail, which had gone up. And I, I must have missed it. Um, so those ducks that you saw earlier, that was not part of the recommended trail. <laughs> and I had to kind of scale up the uh, sidewall of the canyon a little ways to get back on the trail, which I think was the right move because otherwise it would have been a hard walk. So let's take a look at the rest of the falls. So here at either the second or the third fall, I'm not really keeping track, but I like this big tree hanging out. Still got a couple more to go. Okay, we came down. So I'm in a bit of a predicament. You can see where I'm sitting. Uh, I wanted to go higher up, but I'm gonna have to get across this. Um, so I'm gonna give it a shot. You see I'm just above the waterfall, one of the waterfalls now. So I'm gonna see what I can do jumping across to this middle rock. And then over there, I just wanna make sure if I do it, I can still get back easily too. Looks like there's a trail on the other side that goes a little ways up. Um, so I'm gonna see. See if I can make it or not. So, made it across to the other side. And, uh, yeah, got this good view. Hanging out with one of the waterfalls. Um, I think there's a path that goes up on this side. Let's see if we can keep going. So, I'll see what I can do. So I uh, never made it up to the top, but did my best, got about halfway and then came down, did uh, a couple of tricks on my way back now. Figured I'd stop here to point this out, mostly because I accidentally went off the trail on my way in. So from right there that you like cross the river and I missed the crossing and just went up this direction. And I followed it up a little ways around the corner here and then had to climb up the side. First off, it was definitely kind of sketch because there's all these like, like even the plants that aren't cacti have like thorns on them and stuff. So it's lots, lots of sharp things. And then like the sign says causes erosion. So there's actually like, it's pretty hard to get up and you have to just scramble like straight up or I guess you don't have to, but it's kind of what I ended up doing. the hike 
as you might have seen, I saw a Gila monster, so I put that in there. Um, kind of finishing up the day here at the uh, Botanical Garden. They have a little Zen garden out here, so I'm sitting next to some bamboo right now. I'll put some of the other things I filmed while I was here. It's a beautiful space. I'm currently at the Biosphere 2, which is a research project from the University of Arizona. Um, so we're gonna walk around and start that tour here in a little bit. Um, it's actually raining right now, uh, which is why I'm filming inside the car. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to talk because the um, attachment for that is, uh, is not waterproof. So I will just have some of the videos around, I think, and hopefully we'll see, see how all that goes. See you inside. Hey, so <clears throat> I actually just finished my tour um, at the Biosphere 2, um, but I'll go ahead and throw this in at the beginning because I videoed a lot of it and I realized the tour's a virtual tour, so they do everything on the app. Um, so if you want to like follow along and learn about what's happening in those spaces, um, I'd say just download that app. You can click through the things as you watch the video, and that way you'll have like a little virtual tour uh, if you want to do it. Um, and yeah, in general, I thought it was super interesting to see. Um, I think when I came, I expected each of the biospheres to be like in a different building or like separated somehow. So it was interesting to see that they were like all together. Um, especially in terms of like moisture content because um, I was expecting like a desert area to be like super dry um, but because they were all in the same space it was like relatively dry the one uh, exception was the rainforest which was off on its own um, but yeah like I said if you want to learn more um, or you want to get like a, a better sense of kind of what's happening there um, I'd say check out the app it's got a lot of info on it uh, probably a lot more than I even paid attention to
just showed up to uh, Colossal Cave Mountain Park. Uh, got a tour scheduled in like 30-ish minutes. Uh, and I think at this location I will be able to film. Uh, so I'll try to show everything around the inside if it's lit. Because uh, if it's not well lit, then I don't know if I'm going to be able to see much. Uh, through the camera at least. So, uh, yeah. There's park map. Uh, got a nice little view, apparently. Um, so, see the inside. Especially if you're taller than me, and then the... Watch the drop off on the way. packed formations above us that resemble a forest. Now this is the first area you are going to see all the formations that caves are so well known <laughs> And then once you eventually pass old Baldy, the next formation you're going to eventually see is in the middle of the pathway, what we like to call Fang, because he loves to bite heads and draws blood personal experience. So you're about the same height as me or taller, I would watch your head because Fang is going to try to catch you today and I can promise you this, if you let Fang catch you, it hurts a lot more than when you stub your toe in the coffee table because the coffee table will move, rock does not move for you. You'll be right. Blake, for the reason I do think it's fake is because I'm 24 years old and 
because I'm pretty sure I've had that kid at the end. Alright, we all take a few more steps forward. 
Perfect, perfect. So we get everybody in here. But the room we have just entered is what we like to call the sinkhole room. And we call it that because when Frank first got here, he saw the hole in the ground. He's like, hey. I love you, Alex. Bad. I just got out the cave um, here at Colossal Caverns and uh, they got a little hiking trail so I was thinking I might walk around a little bit. I'm headed over to Karchner Caverns after this um, but I got a little bit of time in between so um, got myself a very overpriced prickly pear margarita and I'm gonna do a little walk. Um, it's been pretty rainy actually which is interesting since it's the desert um, so I happen to get one of the few like truly rainy days I think and uh, it's probably too far away but off in the distance uh, you can see there's just been rain clouds kind of all over and when we first got out the cave it was it was raining obviously since kind of give us a little bit of a break my last full day in Tucson um, and I decided I would just kind of take the day to walk around the downtown part of the city um, kind of see some of the spots in in the city limits I guess if that makes sense um, so went and got kind of off to a late start today but uh, had some delicious food for lunch the Chaiteria I think it's called uh, had a lot of good vegan options, so I was a big fan of that. And then I'm just kind of walking through downtown now. I stopped at this little park uh, to record this. Um, and I'm going to keep kind of just walking around. We'll see. You know, I don't know how much I'll really be recording because if it's just like stores and food and stuff, I don't know how much I'm going to record. Um, but I'm going to see about trying out some movement at some point. So hopefully get some parkour, some tricking in. Um, so we'll see how that goes.